I've been working on this app since the summer. It's called AA Torque. It's a way to get data from all the computers in your car onto the infotainment system through Android Auto. Uh, to make this work, you'll need a few things. You'll need a Bluetooth OBD2 module. That's that green thing down there. You can get them for as little as $10. You'll need the Torque app, which is $5. And then you'll need my app, which is what's showing on the screen. Uh, that app is free. It's open source. All the source code is out there. Um, so the way I made this was to make it everything as customizable as possible. So you can change the icons, the text, whatever. You can do unit conversions. Um, and you can choose any PID, even uh, PIDs that you get off the internet that are specific to your car. And the PIDs are basically identifiers for the metrics that you're going to pull out of the computers in the car. So one of the cool things I had a while ago was rotary dial support. So this isn't a touchscreen. It has a rotary dial. And if I go back and forth on the rotary dial, I can switch screens. So uh, the way it is right now, you can have up to 10 screens. Uh, I think that's plenty. You know, I, I could increase it. I just didn't want people putting in like a million screens and crashing the app. Um, so I've had a bunch of new features the past few months. I'm going to go through them and uh, show, show how it works. So this is the screen I'm on most of the time. It uh, shows me my intake shutter valve, how far that's open, how much air is getting into the engine. I have the horsepower in the middle, which is derived from the RPMs and the torque that the um, ECU is, is reading out of the engine. And then I have the load, which is the ratio of how much air is coming in the engine versus what it can maximally hold at a certain RPM. And around that, I got the gear, torque converter lockup, transmission temperature and oil temperature. One thing I'm gonna show here is this new chart view. So you can uh, change all the colors of the chart and then all your um, metrics that aren't in a gauge go off to the right. Um, everything's scaled to whatever you set your min and max at. So um, if your values are way different, they aren't like stuffed at the bottom of the chart or at the top of the chart. Um, this is a cool new feature and it, it, you can change pages the same way that uh, it did before with the um, with the gauges showing it. So this is another new feature. You can see I got a different theme on now. Um, I made it so you can take the media, whatever media is playing, a podcast, music, take the artwork from that. Usually it's the album artwork and display it as the background. I also had the ability to change the opacity on the gauges, make them a little more see-through. Uh, this is actually a different theme here. Um, you can blur the album artwork. You can darken the album out artwork just trying to find a good mix of um, visibility with, with all different types of album artwork on whatever theme you're using. Uh, on this screen, I got the torque. Uh, you can see it's highlighting the maximum value with an arrow, and then it's showing the minimum value at the bottom. Uh, when the road is driving the car, the, the torque will actually go negative when you're just coasting. In the middle, I got the fuel flow, how many gallons an hour it's using. And on the right, I have the air pressure and the intake. I also have the battery voltage, the air fuel ratio, elevation, which seems to be wrong, and the runtime of the current drive, how, how long I've been driving. I wanted to show is just uh, what it looks like on the phone to configure all this stuff. So we got all these themes you can choose from. Um, we got fonts and uh, we got backgrounds, which will show if you're not using the album art feature. Um, large center gauge just makes the middle gauge a little bit larger. Um, rotary input, I would enable that if you have it, if your car supports it. And then minimax is if your screen is bigger, you can uh, put the minimax below the gauge. And then number of dashboards, that's just how many dashboards you can configure. So um, media background, this is a new thing I just add. You can blur the artwork, make it more visible, you can darken the artwork, and then you can change the opacity of the gauge. I, I don't really use, use the blur. Um, I turn the opacity down a little bit and, and darken the artwork. Um, so the, this is where you control uh, what's actually showing on the screen. So if you go into this, uh, you get the title, you can make it whatever you want. You can not put a title if you want. Um, and then so you can see like on my left gauge, I'm using uh, Mazda specific PID and that's the intake shutter valve angle. And that's uh, just something I added to Torque as a custom PID. Um, and you can see, you can you can pick anything in Torque. There, there's tons of stuff in here, O2 voltage, barometric pressure, kil kilometers per liter, um, tons and tons of stuff. And then you can find more of those on the internet. Um, you can pick the icon, um, 
whole numbers, if, if your numbers are coming back with uh, without any decimals or it just looks better to not show decimals, you can do that. And then unit conversion. Um, so what comes back from torque is usually like the SI unit, like uh, liters or Celsius. Um, so you can really put in custom formulas like, and on those, um, the ones that show around the gauges, you can even return strings. So you can do something like this uh, Boolean logic where it's checking if the value is zero, zero and returning off and on. Um, so th there's like standard ones in here and then you can um, put, in, put in custom code if, if that's what you wanna do. Uh, just make sure when you change these, you also change the unit. Um, and then the chart line color, whatever uh, color is gonna show when it goes into the chart view. Uh, you can change all that. Um, high visibility dial, uh, it shows like a uh, ray instead of a um, needle. Um, minimum maximum value and then tick values that will just display numbers around the edges of the speedometer or the gauge. Um, and then min and max values, you can choose to show the minimum value, maximum value, same thing with marking it on the gauge. Uh, that was a little red arrow. Um, and then if you click uh, this button, it's going to preview. I got uh, this icon here, and if I click that, I'll go back to um, what it looks like. And th this will, if you're connected to the car, this will, this will show everything and just let you preview it right on your phone. Um, and then just, just showing if I change like the theme, uh, this is another new theme we have. And you can see it's it's that easy to change. And then if you're connected to the car, everything updates automatically. Um, that's all I got right now. Uh, check out the GitHub. That's where you'll find the app. That's where you'll find how to uh, install it. On a lot of phones, it should be just as easy as going into here and clicking force update after you uh, install it the first time. And that will do some special stuff to, to trick your phone that it came from the Play Store. Um, most phones that is going to work. Um, you can see on, on the GitHub, uh, certain workarounds for certain phones. Um, th there's other ways to get installed. The main thing is making it think it came from the play store. So, um, check it out and, uh, hope, uh, hope you can get it working. It's, uh, it's pretty cool.